Hello, I hope you are enjoying the exhibition so far. My name is Andra and I help design the Transylvanian box, which is the third component of the Romanian installation. You arrived in Transylvania by crossing a bridge from Valachia. This is based on the real-life Bridge of Lies from the city of Sibiu. The original bridge is the first cast-iron bridge built in Romania and the second oldest in Europe. Take a closer look at the decoration. You'll notice patterns inspired by local flora, such as wild strawberry, dwarf pine, philadelphus and gentiana. The bridge connects to the first side of the box, inspired by medieval houses in Sibiu. They are usually brightly painted with coloured window shutters and detailed door handles. The roof is an early tape of skylight and reminds me of an open eye looking back at you. The front of the bird box represents the clock tower from Sigishara. The town itself is a listed UNESCO World Heritage Site and dates back to the 12th century. The tower has been standing in one form or another since the 14th century. The clock mechanism includes several figurines which come to life at fixed intervals. The small statues representing the days of the week are based on the ancient Greek gods and rotate at midnight. The third panel of the box takes us out into nature. In the bottom right corner, you can see a fragment of the Roses Park in Timisoara. This feature was first arranged at the end of the 19th century in the style of an English rose garden and was recreated after being destroyed during the World War II bombings. Behind the Roses Park, you'll notice a haystack and a crop of hops. These are very familiar sites in Transylvania. And in the mountains, you'll find wild goats, lynx, brown bears and wolves. A golden eagle is flying by, surveying the scene. As you walk around the installation, you'll notice three tiles of traditional patterns. They are inspired by local architecture, pottery and traditional dress. You have now seen the entire Transylvanian section. Unless you didn't open the clock tower door? The inside of the box is quite dark because you are underground. First in a gold mine that goes back to the Roman Empire, then in a cave with ancient bear fossils. And did I mention one of the largest underground glaciers in Europe? The cave mouth opens into a lush valley and a small winged friend is waving goodbye. We are in Transylvania after all.